She's the Aussie ballroom star who found love on US Dancing with the Stars. Kim Johnson Hershevik has salsaed her way through 18 seasons before meeting Shark Tank star Robert Hershevik on the show in 2015. It was a match made in dancing heaven with the lovebirds tying the knot in a lavish ceremony. Now Kim is going from the dance floor to the delivery room with a couple <laughs> expecting twins. And Kim joins us live from LA. Great to see hey. you. Hi. Let's see you. Hi. There you are. Hi. Um, can you see? You can't really see what you can see. There we go. Well, yeah, you, we can I've see when you shelf. rest your hats on the shelf. When you do that. Uh, how's it going? You're on the home stretch, Kim? I am. I've got about five weeks to go. So, kind of the home stretch now. I can't believe I've got two in there. It's crazy. <laughs> Kim, we always, all of, the three of us always describe our dancing experiences quite the journey. How's the <laughs> pregnancy journey been for you? Do you know what? It's been amazing. I'm kind of like one of these annoying pregnant ladies that just love the whole pregnancy. Um, the beginning, I was a little bit sick, but really like nothing compared to what some of my friends have said. Um, so I had a little bit of nausea in the beginning and, and then it's been really good. I'm just getting a little bit uncomfortable now, just sleeping and trying to find, find a position to sleep in. Yeah, but right. Other than that, I've been really lucky. I thought with two, I'd have more sickness and be more uncomfortable, but it's been great. Yeah. How, and how about the, the strange food cravings? All, all good on that front? Or are we talking anchovies and pistachio ice cream or something? I no, I just in the beginning, I was wanting French fries from McDonald's, like specifically McDonald's. Mm. It was kind of strange. Yeah. Um, so that was just the first trimester. And then um, my husband bought me an air fryer. So now I just do them at home. But um, other than that, I haven't really had any cravings. Um, no, he could have, so you know, boring. He, he could have bought that much cheaper on the morning show, just saying. Uh, what, what, <laughs> okay. was, what was your reaction uh, when you both heard you've got uh, four jazz hands happening there instead of two? We were Jeez. so excited. Um, well, obviously, you know, we've waited so long and, and um, it was a bit of a struggle to get pregnant. So. When, when we were told we had um, two in there, it was just so exciting. I think in that, I took that, the ultrasound lady took that picture with, and obviously one of them had the thumbs up, but I think you can actually see the other baby behind it. I didn't realize that at the time when I put it up. Yeah. I think you see the head of the other yeah. one behind. Total Cory. It's so, <laughs> yeah. so cute. <laughs> so how, how do you prepare for twins, Kim? Oh, I don't know what can really prepare you. Um, I've been reading books and stuff, but... Is the nursery uh, we did a, we did all done? A class. Yeah, the nursery's mm. kind of done. Um, I'm just kind of going with the flow. The whole pregnancy, I've just gone with the flow, and I, I feel like you just sort of, I, I don't know, you just deal with it. Yeah. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping everything goes well in the delivery. That's a bit nerve-wracking. Um, but I'm a little nervous about that because it's coming up now. But mm. I just can't wait to, to meet them now. Yeah, so exciting. Now, Robert's already an experienced dad uh, with three kids, uh -huh. right? Is, is he comfort? Is his words of wisdom flowing? Is he comforting? Well, yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, I've done this before. It's easy. It'll, it'll be fine, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so he, he's very good with um, not much sleep. Mm. So I think he'll be, he'll be good with that. I... I normally really like sleep. I know I'm not going to get much, but um, yeah, hopefully he can help out with some of the, the feeds. I don't know. Yeah, he, hopefully. He's going to be very hands-on. Yeah. Uh, Kim, how's your dancer's body responded to all this? Because we know you for being a beautiful dancer and, and also the judge on Dancing with the Stars. And, you know, and you've really given your body a workout over the years. Uh, we know that you have your own yeah. dance studio in Beverly Hills. So I guess, you know, how's your dancer's body responding to a pregnancy with twins? Uh, well, I was still teaching and working out um, up until about a month and a half ago and then it started to just get a little bit weird, like my balance was off and I'd be like, oh, I can't bend down like I used to and it's kind of very strange because I'm so aware of my body and, and mm. movement, so that's been a little strange. So I'm not, I'm not teaching um, anymore, I'm sort of like taking a little bit of a back seat, but I'm doing prenatal Pilates and trying to still stay in shape. Um, and it's sort of keeping me sane as well. Okay. So it's been nice to just do a little bit of exercise. So what sort of other, what, what sort of other exercise have you been doing during the pregnancy? So Pilates is a great thing. Uh, anything yeah, else? Yeah, Pilates and dancing. Yeah. Um, the doctors all recommended that dance is a great workout through pregnancy. Um, just something where you don't really get your heart rate up too much. Mm. And um, 
Yeah, there, there I am in, in the studio doing some weights. So did you have to come uh, up with a pregnancy to... program, Kim, and is that something that you're sharing? Um, possibly. Um, I've just sort of, it's been such a ride, this whole pregnancy. It's been fascinating. I've just loved it. Um, I'm working with my Pilates instructor. She's been great. Um, yeah, and I'm sort of like figuring out the different things that you can do. I'm just mm, realising yeah. there's my dog in the background of that <laughs> video. <laughs> Good stuff. Now, we need to know this from you. We need to know the baby name front runners. We know one baby already will be called Todd, regardless of sex. What's the other baby's name? <laughs> you know what? We can't decide. Um, we, we, we really can't decide on the name. So I'm hoping when they come out, we just know. Okay. I don't yeah. know. And this is where I have any suggestions. Well, are you looking for boy names or are you looking for oh. girl names or are you you're looking tough. for one of each? You're tough, Connie. <laughs> well, you know, we're not sure. We're keeping it a little surprise. Right. Okay. So we're sort of like trying to toss up a few, a few ideas of names, but that's the hardest part. It's, mm. yeah, it's really tricky. Mm. A couple of good Aussie names, like. Sheila and Jono. Sheila, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Sheila running yeah, around all the day. <laughs> now you've already I'll had the baby moon. Mind. Tell us about the baby moon. How'd you celebrate? Um, well, I wanted to come home to Australia, um, so we decided we'd stop in Hawaii on the way. So we just did a little, I guess, yeah, a little baby moon in Hawaii. And then I went on to Australia to go back and see my girlfriends and my family uh, one last trip before um, I had you know, have the baby, so that was really nice. Yeah. And it was, yeah, it was nice and relaxing and stuff. And oh, then great. I couldn't travel anymore after that. Yeah, no, so of now course. I'm just stuck here. So you've posted <laughs> this pic on Instagram. This is of your mum dancing as a little girl, and you're on the right. Oh, yeah, in, that's, that's you right. on the right. Uh, oh, she's watching now. She'll love this. Oh, <laughs> she must be so proud of your dancing career. I mean, of course, of course she is. But she was a dancer too, Kim. Yeah, she was a dancer back in the day and um, she still dances when she comes over here. She comes to my studio and she dances just for fun now. She dances socially, but she used to teach. So, um, yeah, I guess that's where I get it from. So we might have some little dances in here too. I don't know. Uh, oh, your mum, my, my old drinking buddy, your mum. Uh, now, as, yeah. as a, what's the best piece of baby advice that she's given you? Oh gosh, uh, well she's actually coming over, she's actually arriving in a couple of weeks because um, she obviously wants to be here for it, I'm going to need her help, but uh, I don't know, um, she's just like you've just got to, you've just got to go with the flow cause yep. it, yes. and have a good sense of humour about everything. Yes, wise so, words, um, wise, wor wise yeah. words from your mum Kim, that's, that's kind of <laughs> yeah. about... That's kind of about how it goes. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Right? Lovely to see you. Yeah. Lovely to see you. We look so forward to, to hearing new news about Todd and Sheila when they arrive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how will we learn the news? Do we keep our eyes peeled for um, on social media? Will you? Is that how you'll announce it? Probably. Okay. I know that that's how it goes these days, isn't it? Probably yeah. we'll do something. Oh, you can like find that. us. Yeah. We don't care if it's two a.m. You can find us, Kim. Yeah. That's nice. Give okay. us a call. Yeah, Re give us a call. Yeah, Rex Tillerson <laughs> did that. Just give us a call. We want to know first. <laughs> hey, call you up. Good oh, to okay. see you. Good luck with everything. So exciting. Thank you. Okay. Bye. 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 See well, what's a little pair like a little girl and boy, and then they could be dance, dance partners. partners. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fabulous? Mm. Wouldn't it? <laughs> no, it would. Wouldn't it? That's. I think it would be fabulous. Yeah.